Hello everybody, my name is Jamie and I am the Board Game Man. Today we're going to look at a game from 1971 from Ideal Toys Corporation. A very interesting, very intriguing game called Perception. So let's head on over to the gamers table and I'll show you how to play. <laughs> table and here are the components to perception here is the little board it's made out of plastic and you'll see it has dots on the board black red and white on both sides and in the middle you also have these are the playing pieces and as you can see they're almost like a they're like a half sphere and clear on the bottom so it's very interesting how they put this together so you have the colors that correspond to the colors on the board each player has a set of these and you also have these which is a red ball, a black cube, and it looks like it was supposed to be like a white, looks like almost like a guitar pick. It looks like they're missing one of these, so they actually put a white poker chip in here, and it works just as fine. It doesn't matter what they are. It's the colors that are the most important thing to know. So each player is going to have a set of these as well. And also, let me show the instructions are actually on the bottom of the box, so you don't have to worry about paper instructions on this one, thankfully. So and it's very, very easily you can easily read them, understand them. It's really, really good instructions. You'll be up and running in no time with these instructions. So let me show you how this works. You're gonna start off by putting each one of these on the corresponding color. So the black sphere will go here, the red will go here, and the white will go here. Same with the other side, black, red, and white. Now, like I said, these are called quadrates. And what you do is you have these, each player will have these in their hand. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your markers to the middle of the board. As soon as two of these markers, either you get two across, or I get one and they get one, then the round is over. You get one point for each quadrate you make, or each marker, I should say, these are quadrates. Each marker to the middle, you get one point, okay? If you fail to get your marker out of the back row, you get minus one point, okay? So you want to make sure that even, like for instance, when I get, the, say the black one, I, I get the black one to the middle. You still, if, the, if say you're, you know, like this, and you're trying to get your red and white to the middle, but you haven't removed, you haven't moved this black one yet, you definitely want to get that out of there. Even if I still made it to the middle, you still want to get that from the, from the back row. Because once someone makes it in the middle, that row is dead. But you still need to get that, this back piece out from that bottom row, because if two of these that go in the middle, and you're still back there, you're gonna get negative one point, you're gonna get minus one point. For every one of them you keep back there. If it's like this, then you'll lose two points and so on. So you wanna at least get these out from the back row. That way there's no negative points at the end of the round. Now, like I said at the beginning, at the end of each round, say I were to get two of these, I would get two points if I, if I ended up like this, okay? The first player to five points wins the game. Now, let me show you how you move your markers. So say I'm, I'm, I'm player one, I'm going to start first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three and I'm going to put one of them in my hand. Okay, I'm going to put one of these in my hand without the other player seeing, obviously. And that player is going to try to guess which color I have in my hand. If he guesses incorrectly, then I get to move whatever color I have in my hand one spot. If he guesses correctly, obviously, that piece will not move. So say I have one in my hand here and he says, I'm gonna guess red. And I have the black. So the black will move one space up, okay? Then it goes over to the other side. I'll just keep these in my hand. But so player two, say player two goes in here and puts one in their hand, I guess red. Nope, they have white. So white will move up one spot. And so on. And of course, if I grab one and they say black and I guess black, then the black would stay where it's at. Okay. So that's pretty much the game. You're going to try to maneuver your pieces to the middle. The round ends when any two are in the middle, whether it's player one that has two of them in there, or it could be player two has two of them in there, or one of each. 
But like I said, as soon as one of these makes it to the middle, that row is dead. You can't do anything else, but you do need to get that piece out of that back row so you don't get minus one. And as soon as that, row, that um, round ends, you'll total your points. So say this is, this is uh, one point for team uh, for the second player. I get one point for this one. You check the back rows and minus any points from there, and then you go on to the next round. The first player to five points wins the game.